Hey guys, what's up? It's Will Patson here again and welcome to another Illustrator tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can fit text into a circle or any shape you want. So if you've seen on my Instagram profile, you'll understand that I do hand lettering and the great thing about learning hand lettering is that you can fit the letters into almost any shape that you want, whether it's a circle or like a triangle or anything like that. But in Illustrator, a lot of people want to have the same experience and they want to use fonts to make it even quicker. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my text option over here. So I'm gonna type tool, or you press T, and I'm just gonna bring out some type. I'm just gonna say uh, testing. If I've spelled it right, I hope I've spelled it right. There we go. Uh, and that's a boring font. So I'm going to go over to my font character over here and I'm going to go to Abraham Lincoln, which is a cool font. And then I'm going to make these all uppercase because I want them all to be uh, consistent. So I'm going to go highlight my text, go to type, go to change case and go to uppercase. Amazing. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert my text into a shape. At the minute, this is live text. So I'm going to hold alt and shift. I'm just going to drag this over to the right, holding Alt and Shift. And what you'll see is that's duplicated the testing bit here. I'm going to then press Command or Control, Shift and O, all together at the same time, whilst selected on this testing bit here. And it's going to outline the text. So now you can see it's not actually a live text group anymore. It's actually just a shape. This is type, this is shape. And what I've done there is I'm just making sure that it's easier for me to go back if necessary. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shape. I'm going to press L or go to my rectangle tool and go down to ellipse. I'm going to hold shift and alt to drag out a circle like so. I'm going to make this a bit bigger by holding shift and alt again. Holding shift and alt will constrain the angles. So now that I've got my circle out, um, my testing has been outlined. I'm going to highlight both of these together. I'm going to go to object envelope distort and then I'm going to go down to make with top object you can either do all that or go press option command C and as you can see when I've done that testing has formed into the top part of the circle now this is, looks a bit crazy but you can do it in any way you like you can add different text or different ways of doing this you can add it to circles or triangles or anything you want now this is still an envelope top. We can edit the text on the inside by going ahead up to the top left and pressing this edit content button here. Now you can see we get the outline of the text. We can actually, if we held the text in place, change this text or we can change the values of this. I'm going to go up to back to edit what. If I want to make this into one shape, the only thing I have to do is highlight the shape here, go up to object and go down to expand and then we'll get this expand list coming up here. Press OK. And now we've got text that is in the outline of a circle. And that is exactly how you do it within a circle. The same principle applies for any other shape. I'm just gonna bring the shape down, like so. Bring this in. Bring this up like that. I'm gonna bring these out again, and I'm just gonna outline them too. I'm going to highlight both of these shapes with my selection tool, if I can. Then go to Object, Envelope Distort, Make a Top Object. And you'll see that testing has been made into this shape here. I'm going to go to Object, Expand, Object and Fill, press OK. And now we've got text like this. That is how you create text with an inner shape. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope it helped. It was more of a quick tip of how to do something fun in Illustrator. But if you're looking to actually learn how to use Illustrator from a beginner's level, then I've got a course exactly for you. And there's an early bird offer happening right now at the date of this video. Go and click the link in the description to get the early bird offer off this Illustrator course. If you're a beginner, this will be a really good course for you to come on to because then you'll build the foundations of everything you need to know in Illustrator to design your own logo. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.